Uh, so let's just uh, let's go into BNG framework and we'll go over to prefabs and let's come down to find a joystick. There's two different joysticks. There's one that's uh, uh, vehicle and there's one that is oh where the heck are you? It's oh, one for the vehicle, which is not physics. I I tend to use this one for everything. I don't, I don't even know why you would even need this one, but just pull it in there and then up here. Um, where it is on the X, just put, uh, I think it's negative 90 to bring it up right. Pull it this way, and then let's just uh, create a new script, uh, C-sharp script, and we'll call this joystick test. Open it up. <laughs> get rid of this stuff and we just need a public uh, void uh, joystick control vector 2 uh, vector and then, and then we'll say um, float uh, y equals vector dot y and we'll say float x equals vector dot x and just so we can see what's happening we'll put in a debug dot log uh, y and a debug dot log X. Cool. So let's come back in here. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to throw this on my joystick itself because I am not going to keep it. So just throw this on here. And then if you come down to, uh, I think it says Y. Where is that? There. Where's the joystick script itself? I have to remember it's on the main. Oh, yeah. Joystick. Okay, so here you have an on joystick vector change. This is the one you want. It says vector two. Let's take that, drag that in there, and then we'll just come up here and find our uh, joystick test. You'll see it here in dynamic. This is the one you want. It's dynamic. There we go. Okay. File save. Let's hit play. And what we should see. Got zero and zero because right now your joystick's returning zero. I grab the joystick. You see, I start getting input. So it's just exactly the same thing as the thumbstick on your controller. You're getting positive one to negative one on both accesses, and then you just do stuff with it. There you go.